Hey, welcome back everybody. So, another day here at the r, &R shop and we're glad to be here. We're glad to be doing what we're doing. We've got bills going on, we've got repairs going on and we're making it all work. And that's just a normal day for us. So, you know, hopefully we can keep this, you know, ball rolling on all this stuff. But uh, this video is actually gonna be something a little bit different. So, what we're doing right now is we're actually gonna put together some of our greatest moments, some of the dumbest things we've done, and some of the coolest things we've done, and some of the coolest builds we've done, and kind of just make a video and cram it all into one. We may have to do a two-part series, but for now we're doing one. And, well, there's nothing really else to say, but I hope you enjoy. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. So today we're out here on the R&R Ranch, and what am I holding in my hands, you ask? It is an AR-15, Smith & Wesson AR-15 to be exact. Now, it is not the Sport 2 model, it is the one that has the 5.56 and 223 capability. It has a quad rail on it, it's got the... we do it one remove dryer and all we got to do is just sweep up the pieces so now we're going to take a couple more shots and do a review on the AR Okay, folks, so there we have it. <laughs> uh, it is in 
more manageable pieces. So let me show you some of the carnage here of what's left of the dryer. So hang on. And let's see, we've got the back of the dryer that is over there. The tub part of it is there. Oh, hey, we found the motor. And that is, I can't distinguish this piece of it. That looks like part of the back of it, maybe? Side of it? Don't know. And there's some pieces over there. So, yep, it appears that all we have to do now is uh, take the uh, blade on the tractor. And scoop it all up so there you have it a dryer removed and disposed of my way all right so I can't stress enough don't try the things that we do on this channel at home let us do it for you now also I will say if you need appliances removed just uh, let me know we'll take care of that for you it might be a little messy when we're done, but we'll take care of it. <laughs> oh, all right, enough joking around. So, hey, hopefully you guys are enjoying the video so far because I know I am. I, and, you know, the thing is, like I said, looking back on some of the stuff we've done, it's just like, wow, we really did that. But, you know, that's what we do. And hopefully you guys enjoy this. Go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and let's get back into the video. Do that, so... You know the funny thing? What? You always gotta have a backup plan. Good luck. Oh, you suck! I mean, is it a, I mean, what? It's like an airsoft flag. <coughs> oh my God. Like. It was so loud in here. It was like, boom. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, it was loud. I was trying to freaking. I thought I was going to blow a hole in the floorboard though. I'm not going to lie. Uh, oh my god, I was trying to get away from it and I'm like, couldn't get the door open. So and I slices like, oh. through a bottle and the bottle falls on top of itself. Well, I just be honest with you, I wanted to try that. Um, it's not to really prove or disprove, but I just want to try it and see if I can uh, replicate the results to see if it is something that can be done. So let's get into it. All right, so I don't have a broad axe like what he was using but i do have this and this is the sharpest axe i have so let's give it a go and see if i can get it to do anything at all so okay well that's one down Try that again. And this time we'll take this swing like this. Okay, we got that one in half, but still. Let's just try a super sharp knife. See what it does. And yes, I am making a mess. Oh my God, it almost did it. What? Okay, so maybe there's some truth to this.
wall, there's that one. And that one. Hmm. All right, so the closest thing I could find to what he was using is my wood ax. So, let's see. We'll try it like this right here. And I don't think that worked out very well. All right, I have a pinhole in that, so I've got to be fairly quick. Nope. the last one all right so here goes the last one ready you know what there it's in half okay so I couldn't replicate the I mean, it is just awesome. Let's see if I can get back over here and the rest of the shop, see if I can get a little bit better picture um, on this. So, I mean, check that out. I mean, that's just, it looks sharp. So, I think we made the right decision on this. Double pay. That's that's double pay. Oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> double pay. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right, let's go pull a hill. All right. All right. Well, there it is. So that is some of the best moments of rods and rifles up to this point and some of the dumb things we've done but we had fun doing it and that's what it's all about to us is actually being able to have some fun and do our work so hopefully you guys can come along with the journey and we have many more things going on but for now go ahead and hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and we'll catch you on the next episode